So lately, within the past few weeks, I've been wasting a lot of time on TikTok. And I'm sure if you've ever spent time scrolling on the app, then you can totally relate when I say it can be extremely addictive. And I literally have to delete and redownload it every other day or so because I have absolutely no self-control. But now I'm gonna redownload it once again. Today, we're gonna try to use TikTok in a productive way and try to make money Shopify dropshipping using their ad platform. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know me already, Hello, my name is Meg and on my channel I make videos testing out different online business ideas as well as different side hustles So basically non-traditional ways of making money if that's something that you're interested in Please consider hitting that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell so that you're notified when the next video drops And while you're at it You might as well give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm because it helps out a lot more than you know And I would really appreciate it So in this video I'm gonna take you guys through the entire process of first finding a product that will win on TikTok Second building a one product Shopify store hitting up viral e-com ads since they just started offering video ads that are optimized for TikTok's platform and they are also sponsoring today's video. Then when we get our video ads back, we're going to set them up on TikTok's ad platform and we're just going to send it. Now, it's no secret that TikTok has been becoming insanely popular this past year and it definitely has a lot of potential. So I'm really excited to test it out in this video and see what happens. But before we get into the marketing aspect of this business, the most important part of starting a Shopify dropshipping business is finding a good product. So to do this, I'm actually going to be trying a product research method that I've never previously tried before. Since I'm going to be using TikTok ads for this challenge, I'm going to also be doing my product research on there. All right, so this should be fun. I haven't been on TikTok in a little while, so hopefully I don't get too distracted by this, but I'm going to be looking for ads for products on TikTok as well as probably go through some hashtags like hashtag TikTok made me buy it. Taking the kids to Florida. These nice are so funny. A few moments later. All right, so just scrolling through TikTok, I haven't been having much luck lately. So I'm going to try the hashtag thing. TikTok made me buy it and see what I find in here. Yo, what's up guys? It's now the next day and I was going to update this video for you guys last night. However, I stayed up really late doing product research. The products I ended up choosing is this waterfall incense burner. Let me show you guys on AliExpress because I have the product page up. So this is what the product looks like on AliExpress. As you can see, $4.57 to $21.86. But if we choose the ship from United States option, which will get us faster shipping, it's $21.86. That's gonna be our cost of goods. And then the shipping cost is $2.94. So $21 dollars and 86 cents plus two dollars and 94 cents our total cost of goods is going to be $24.80. I'm probably gonna price this around $40. I'm not quite sure yet. So now I'm almost done building out the Shopify store and once I'm done with that I'll show you guys how it turned out. actually spent a lot of time trying to think of a good name for this brand and for the store. Eventually, I thought of the name Cascada Blue, and that's the name I ended up going with. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how the store turned out. I'm going to start screen recording on my phone since I optimized the website for mobile. We're advertising on TikTok, so pretty much all of the traffic should be coming in on mobile. Let me go to the website, cascadablue.com. The domain cost me $12, so that's where we're at so far as far as how much money I spent. And this is what the homepage looks like.
yeah, that's how the website turned out. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Personally, I think it turned out pretty good. Now it is getting a little late, but I do want to order the video ads from Viral Ecom Ads so we can start running TikTok ads as soon as possible. So I'm going to go do that right now and I'm going to take you guys through the process with me. Viral Ecom Ads is the sponsor of today's video. For those of you that don't know them, they are the professional ad agency I've been using for my product tests because they create high quality proven to convert video ads at an affordable price. They recently started offering this vertical ad testing package for stories, TikTok and Snapchat. This package is really affordable for only $40. And with the vertical ad testing package, you get four proven to convert vertical ad variations for one product. And these video ads are typically going to be 15 seconds in duration. They are sized perfectly for Facebook and Instagram stories, as well as TikTok and Snapchat. Also, in addition to their new vertical ad testing package, they also have this new vertical animation ad that's also perfect for TikTok, as well as stories and snapchat and it's also only forty dollars so i think it's a great deal with this package you get one custom created vertical animation ad typically it's also about 15 seconds long in duration i'm gonna order both of these packages for my waterfall incense burner i'm gonna have to order them separately but since they're both forty dollars it's going to be eighty dollars altogether but i actually managed to get us a deal so if you're also interested in ordering the vertical ad testing package or the vertical animation ad use my code meg 20 for 20 percent off that way each package will be 32 dollars instead of 40 dollars and if you order both of them it'll be 64 dollars instead of 80 dollars again that's 20 percent off if you use my code meg20 that's meg20 then once you fill out your contact billing and payment information you'll still have to finish your order by completing their ad submission form since i'm in the vip membership program that viral ecom ads offers i'm going to come up here on their homepage where it says vip VIP members and I'm going to click on VIP ad submission form. If you're not yet a part of their VIP membership program, I highly recommend joining because as a VIP member, you'll get access to 24 hour delivery, 24 hour revisions, free thumbnails, VIP customer support, delivery on the weekends, and 25% off all packages. Now, the fee for the VIP membership is only $50 a month. However, I think the perks of being a part of this far outweigh that cost. But anyways, once you have your VIP membership, you just have to log in and fill out your VIP ad submission form. So let's do that together right now. First, you're going to put your first name, last name, email address, Underneath that, it says, what package did you buy? So I'm going to click the vertical ad testing package first, and then I'm gonna have to go through and fill out another form for the vertical animation ad, but it's pretty much going to be the same thing. So underneath that, you're going to pick your platform and I'm going to select TikTok. Underneath that, I'm going to add the product link from AliExpress. So I'm going to come back to the product on AliExpress, copy the URL, and then come back to the submission form and paste it where it says product link. Underneath that, it says product name. So I'm going to type in waterfall incense burner. Underneath that, you have the option to do a product description. But personally, I don't like to do that because I trust viral ecom ads to come up with good ad copy. So underneath that, it says want to pick your font style. I'm going to click yes. And I think for TikTok, I really like style too. So I'm going to click that. And then if you have any specific notes like font, color, or preferences, you can add those here. But I'm just going to skip that for now. And underneath that, you can upload your store logo in PNG form. This is also optional, but I do like to do that. So I'm going to find my logo on here. After you filled out all of the information, you're just going to click submit. All right. So now we wait. I'm going to do some more research on TikTok ads and watch some YouTube videos about it so that I have a better idea of what I'm doing when it comes time to set that up. I'll update you guys when I get the video ads back from viral ecom ads. Yo, what's up guys? I just got the ads back from Viral Ecom Ads, so I'm gonna show you how they turned out. I'm gonna have to change the music though so that I don't get a copyright strike. This is how the vertical animation ad turned out. with 
how they turned out, especially the vertical animation ad. I think that one's really unique and I think it's gonna do really well on TikTok. So again, guys, if you're interested in ordering from Viral Ecom Ads, check out the first link in the description of this video and you can get 20% off using my code MEG20. But anyways, now let's get these TikTok ads set up. So first things first, before I set up my TikTok ads, I went to the Shopify app store, found the TikTok app and connected it to my store. Then I created a TikTok pixel to track the orders coming from my ads. I then selected the United States as the only location I wanted my ads to target. And then I had to add balance to my TikTok ads manager account. Okay, so this is one of the ways that running TikTok ads is different from running Facebook ads. Unlike with Facebook, where you would just add your card as your payment method and they would just spend your money and then charge you. With TikTok, you have to add a certain balance from your card up front to your ads manager account and they won't spend more than that until you add more. Now, I guess this is a good thing in a way because you won't accidentally spend more than you decide your budget should be. However, I found that TikTok will spend your money really slowly and drag out the process of spending that budget. But anyways, I decided to add $200 as my balance, clicked confirm, then I added my card information and I'm not going to give that out, so we're just going to skip through this part. So fast forward, after I'm done setting up my business account on TikTok, my account has to be reviewed before I can set up and start running any ads. This is another thing that's a bit different about TikTok. Unlike on Facebook, where just about anyone can set up a business page and start running Facebook ads, on TikTok you have to apply as a business and be approved first. So at first, my business account was disapproved and as you can see the reason they gave me was the account details or the product service being promoted does not fully comply with the TikTok advertising policy. I ended up just having to change my website URL from the homepage to my product page so I don't know what's up with that but once I was approved I finally got to work setting up the actual ads. So here this is what the TikTok ads manager looks like and this is the dashboard. To set up my ads I clicked the campaign tab up here and then I clicked create. As you can see, the buying type is automatically set to auction. So from there, we can choose our objective, just like Facebook ads. We can choose reach, traffic, app installs, video views, or conversions. Since I wanted to get sales right away, I chose conversions as my objective. Then I scroll down to the next section that says settings, and I changed the campaign name to conversions-cascada blue. Then I clicked continue, and now we're at the ad group level. If you're familiar with Facebook ads, this is like the ad set level. On TikTok, it's just called ad group for some reason instead of ad set. When I do Facebook ads, I usually target a different interest with each ad set and then name each ad set after the interest that I'm targeting. However, on TikTok, there's not much of a variety when it comes to targeting different interests. You can't get very specific with the options that they give you. It's more like targeting broader categories. And actually, when I was doing research on TikTok ads, a lot of other YouTubers suggested just starting out with one broad ad group. And that's what I ended up doing instead of targeting different interests, which you'll see soon. So let's get back to the ad setup. Next, I scroll down to the section that says promotion type. As you can see, I have website selected. Then I selected my TikTok pixel. And for optimization event, I selected complete payment. Then I scroll down to placements. And instead of leaving it set as automatic placements, I clicked select placements. All of these other random platforms are selected because they're owned by the same company that owns TikTok. But we just want to advertise on TikTok so I unchecked these other three. I left user comment turned on, which means people can comment on the ad, and I also left video download turned on. I scrolled past this creative type section and just left automated creative optimization turned off. Then I scroll down to the targeting section. I didn't have any audiences to include or exclude, so I just left this part blank. In demographics, the only location I decided to target was the United States. For gender, I left it as no limit, and and for age, instead of no limit, I decided to leave the 13 to 17 age group out. And I just targeted the 18 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, 45 to 54, and 55 plus age groups. For language, I only selected English since the ads are in English and the website is also only in English. Then for interests and behavior, like I said, I didn't choose to target any specific interests and just went with a broad approach. Then I scroll down and under 
under the device section, I left operating system set to no limit. I left OS versions as no limit, connection type, no limit, carriers, no limit, and device price, no limit. Then I scroll down to the budget and schedule section. I first set the daily budget to $20 a day, but I think I ended up changing that. For schedule, I just set it to run continuously. There's also this option on TikTok for day parting where you can choose to run the ads only during certain times of the day, but I didn't do that. Then I scroll down to the bidding and optimization section. At first, I set the bid to $15 and I think I ended up changing that too. After that, I left the delivery type set to standard, scrolled back up to change the name of the ad group and named it broad dash no interest. Then I clicked next and went on to the ad level. I changed the ad name to creative one, scroll down to the ad details section and under video, I clicked upload. Here I uploaded the first ad variation from the vertical ads package that viral ecom ads sent me. Then I scroll down to the text and link section for display name. I put Cascado blue since that's the name of my store. And for text, I just wrote a single line of ad copy. I changed the call to action to shop now. Then I opened my website in another tab to copy and paste the URL here where it says URL. And I made sure to use the product page URL this time. Then I scroll down and added my store's logo as my profile image. Then under that, there's the tracking section and I already have my TikTok pixel there. I don't have any third-party tracking to add and I'm not really sure what that is, so I left it alone and clicked submit. After that, my ad went into review and I went back to my ads manager to duplicate the ad so I could upload the other video ad variations. So here under the ad section, I clicked the three dots next to edit and clicked copy. I made four copies of the ad in the same ad group, went through and left most of the settings the same as the original. The only things I changed were the actual ad creatives and the ad copy. After that, my ads actually got rejected at first, but it turns out I just had to fix something on my website. So I fixed that, resubmitted my ads, and they finally got approved and started running. Now it's been a few days since I turned off the TikTok ads and I actually let them run for six days. I wasn't planning on running them for that long, but they wouldn't spend the money that I added to my budget and my ads manager. But anyways, after six days of running these ads and $203.20 spent, I made a total of two sales. I'm kind of disappointed about that because the first sale that I got was actually only like two or three hours after I finally got the ads running. So I thought things were looking up. I was super excited. I thought that this was going to go really well since I got that sale so quickly. As you guys can see from the week of January 6th to January 13th, total sales $89.78. So I got those two sales, the first one on January 8th, right after I set up my TikTok ads. Then I didn't get any more until January 11th, and then I didn't get any more sales. But altogether, I had 487 online store sessions, 0% returning customer rate, online store conversion rate was 0.41%. And as you can see in the conversion funnel, I actually had eight sessions add to cart, two sessions reach checkout and two sessions converted. But anyways, let's go to my TikTok ads manager account now so I can show you the details of the results for that. As you can see, my ads ended up getting 71,970 impressions, 422 clicks, and like I said, two conversions. The CPC or cost per click was 48 cents. The CPA or cost per action, which in this case, this is the cost per conversion since I was optimizing my ads for conversion. That cost was $101.60. The CTR or click through rate was only 0.59% and the CPM or cost per mill was $2.82. Now let's calculate how much money this Shopify dropshipping business venture made, or I should probably say lost in this case. Let's start from the beginning. So first, First, I bought the domain cascadablue.com for $12. Then there's the Shopify monthly subscription for $29 a month, but I did actually use my own affiliate link when signing up. So I'm not gonna count that because I'm gonna get charged the $29, but I'm also just gonna get it back then. Then of course, there's the biggest expense, the TikTok ads, which cost $203.20. So let's add that to our $12. Now we're at $215.20, but then I did make those two sales for $44.89 each. $44.89 times two equals $89.78. So let's subtract $89.78 
from $215.20. Now we're back down to $125.42, but then there's the cost to fulfill those orders. So let's go back to AliExpress and see how much that costs altogether. The first order costs $26.54 to fulfill, and the second costs $26.85. So let's add those two together, and we get $53.39. Now let's add that to our $125.42, and our total profit for the Shopify dropshipping with TikTok ads challenge turns out to be negative $178.81. Well, at least it wasn't as bad as last time, if you guys remember my Q4 Shopify dropshipping challenge. So even though this challenge didn't turn out to be profitable, I hope you guys still enjoyed it because I know I did. Let me know in the comments what you guys think I should test Shopify dropshipping with next because I'm still thinking about testing it with Pinterest ads, Snapchat ads, and TikTok influencers. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it brought you some value. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit the subscribe button if you're not already, and hit the bell so that you know notified when the next video drops and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.